Good afternoon and welcome to a live conversation with Gulf News. Earlier today, uh, Pakistan's top human rights activist and democracy advocate Asma Jahangir passed away. Uh, we have here with us uh, Mr. Ashfaq Ahmed, our deputy UA editor, um, who is going to tell us a little bit about her, her legacy and the reasons why she was loved by many and hated by quite a few. Thank you, Anupa. Asma Jangir, uh, was a mixed personality. She was loved by most people, but hated by some. But she was not hated by modern and advanced people. She was hated by some religious groups, as uh, she was a human rights activist. My first interaction with Asma Jangir as a journalist was in 1991. And that was my first assignment, first press conference. And I went to her office, the Human Rights Commission of Pakistan, that she was having a press conference for some women's cause. But she became famous in 1983 when she launched the movement of restoration of democracy against then military dictators of Ziaul Haq. She was arrested many times, she was detained many times, she was harassed. And then but she never gave up. Again, she became famous when she launched a campaign for women, the Major Women Protection Forum. She protected the women who faced uh, victimization, who were raped. She took up their cases in the court and she raised voice for them. Maybe that's one of the reasons that some people don't like us. Like us. They think that she she brought bad name to Pakistan by highlighting these cases, but I don't agree. She was the one who actually highlighted these cases and brought the authorities' attention and put pressure on them to take uh, to task those people who are oppressing these women who, and who are harassing these women. Another big thing she did in uh, 2007 when she launched the campaign against uh, restoration of uh, movement against. Uh, then, to build, uh, then President William Musharraf, when he when he suspended judges and uh, introduced the lawyer movement. and the lawyer movement, she she launched, and uh, she was also detained then, house arrested then, uh, but she never gave up. She was also uh, the first Pakistani president of uh, any uh, law, she was a law president, and also. Uh, she, she always projected judiciary and was in favor of independent judiciary, but she was also against the outreach of judiciary. She always criticized them for outreaching and outreaching their powers. You mean to say getting involved? Getting in things involved into things, they're taking a unnes un 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 unnecessary assume others, getting into petty affairs. She was, she was against that also. And I think she's also done a lot of work for the United Nations yes, she was. as, they, as yes. a rapporteur for them. Yes, Can you tell because, us? because uh, she, she was awarded by the United Nations as well. And she, she was not like a human rights activist only in Pakistan. She always raised voice in the world. If something is happening in another country against human rights violation, she will always draw attention of the United Nations to yeah. She has uh, reported, I believe, on Sri Lanka and even Israeli settlements. Yes, exactly. she was again Israeli settlement, Palestinian cause. She always raised that voice also. And also, she raised voice for minorities in Pakistan, the Christian community, for Hindu community, and uh, for Sikh community. She was always, uh, she always propagated their cause. Okay. Uh, can you? This is the political aspect, etc. But as a journalist, what is that you remember most about her? Your memories of working with Asma? Jangir? It was very tough because Asma never, um, never forgave anybody. She was also a huge critic of journalists who failed to do their duties. Even recently, uh, she raised voice against one anchor who who tried to who tried to politicize the case of young Zainab. Was oh, yes. and killed in Pakistan, and he tried to try to try to have some kind of news that she has a it's part of an international, uh, international rank honoring, and she took very stern stand against that journalist and said that we should not have politicized young little girl rape and murder case, and she ordered action against that journalist. But 
So she was a critic of everybody. That's why she was not biased. She was a critic of everybody for the good of women. So is there a particular story that is to you kind of embodies your interaction with Asma? Some some particular anecdote experience that you feel? I mean, whenever uh, last time I met her, uh, I got to her like at an or airport, and uh, she recognized me, and she talked about the issues, and she talked about the UAE life in UAE, and generally. But she said that it's uh, in Pakistan. It's a uh, it's a long struggle against uh, democracy, and we have to uphold the judiciary. We have to make it stronger to ensure human rights. Uh, uh, she has children, daughter, and I think two daughters and a son, etc. Do you see anybody carrying her legacy forward? Uh, well, she has set up human rights commission, and there are a lot. There are some people who are working there, and I'm sure. We'll be able to carry forward her Thank you very much. Uh, you. That's all from us for now. But for more details and for the full story, do log on to gulfnews.com. Thank you for joining us today.